Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is going to be a very general reading, so this may or may not resonate with every Aquarius watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. Overall energy, Nine of Cups, I like that. Okay, let me adjust the card so you guys can see. Okay. All right, Aquarius, looks like there's a wish fulfillment coming in for you with the Nine of Cups. So something's going to make you very, very happy. Yes, there is a brand new beginning coming in for you, okay? A brand new passionate beginning, a clean slate with someone you could have had a breakup with or someone who you separated from or someone who just things ended badly with, okay? There is something, um, there's like this solid new beginning coming in, not a practical one, but it's the one. So there's someone who's very, very passionate about you. This definitely is someone who you had an ending with, okay? But uh, could be a situation where you ended a long-term commitment or ended a relationship that was not emotionally fulfilling you, okay? You're still wanting to work on this partnership, partnership looks like. But the person you're dealing with, this person's coming in because this person's obsessed. This could be someone very, very toxic in your life, but they're coming in with that toxicity. I'm sorry about that. But with the devil here, yep. That's addictions. This person could have had a lot of addictions of some sort of okay, bad habits to, to just to a person, place, think, anything, okay? But this is a very codependent energy. Looks like in the past you were dealing with someone who was emotionally unavailable, someone who had like this roller coaster of emotions, okay? One moment they feel something, the second moment they feel something else, which gave you a lot of mixed signals, okay? But right now, it looks like there is a control freak. This is someone who's having a hard time releasing control. Could be you, could be them. But yeah, there's definitely someone here who's not being able to release control or someone who's just very, whose mind is very hard to budge. This is someone who wants to keep the upper hand. This person feels they're losing control. Definitely. They feel they're losing control of the situation. Anyways, in the near future with the justice in reverse here, something's not going to be fair. There's still that lack of balance in the near future. We'll see why. I think because this, the only thing out here I see is that because with the emperor in reverse and the devil here, right? This person has a lot of codependency. It could be fear, okay? But this is someone who's toxic as well. All right, let's clarify. What is the nine of cups? What's the nine of cups here for Aquarius? You have the Ten of Cups in reverse. So um, it could be that you're dealing with... Uh, I'm getting you got out of a relationship that once made you very, very happy, right? And you got out of it because um, there was a lack of emotional fulfillment or you just didn't reach that point of um, commitment. And now with the Nine of Cups here, right? You're going to do what makes you happy. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? Why is this here? Could be family issues also I'm getting, okay? Could be a lot of family issues. Maybe there's family that's coming in between you and the person you're dealing with. Because this person definitely looks like you're a wish fulfillment. See, lovers in reverse. There's a disconnection, a breakup. This could be an ending of a soulmate contract, okay? But you guys are not on the same page. Someone was emotionally more invested than the other person out here. And now, I think there's a wish coming in true for you. Nine of Cups is definitely wish fulfillment. It is a little smug energy. But I think there's something that's going to make you very happy. And it's coming in. And probably this is more like this relationship that did that went south. And you guys just separated. You went your own ways. Maybe it could be someone you were dealing with who had fear of commitment. Okay, I'm getting this relationship did not was once 
a very happy, uh, uh, you know, happy and joyful connection. But then just something went wrong and you guys went your own ways. I'm getting more of fear of commitment or someone who's more invested into the relationship than that they're not on the same page. But yeah, something's going to make you very happy. That's the overall energy. What's the King of Cups in reverse? Five of Wands. Fighting, arguments, conflicts, ego clashes. Too many people involved. But more than anything, I'm getting you people who are not on the same page. What's the Five of Wands? One card, Five of Wands, please. What's the Five of Wands? Wow. Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, and that's why you guys went your own ways. You could have had trust issues with someone or probably this person kept you in a loop and you just didn't know where you stood with this person. Again, there was a lot of love here, but in the past, you guys were just not seeing eye to eye. Only because either there was someone here who had trust issues with the King of Cups in reverse here. This is someone who probably got into a relationship unhealed from the past relationship. You get what I'm saying? So this person, someone must have screwed them over and now this person could have had commitment issues. This person has issues opening up, wanting to be vulnerable, okay? And that could be one of the biggest reasons why you guys broke up. What is the emperor in reverse here? Right now also there's someone here who's having, who's not being able to lose control. See, seven of cups in reverse. Someone needs to see things more clearly or someone needs to get a reality check but the seven of cups in reverse doesn't always say clarity or reality check someone needs to think more practically is also what i'm getting what's the seven of cups in reverse this is also someone who's overwhelmed with uh too much happening in their life what's the seven of cups in reverse three of swords in reverse is someone who's trying to heal the connection with the three of swords in reverse you could be dealing with someone who's very focused, very, very selfish with their energies, okay? Someone who's very focused on their career goals, their money, <clears throat> focused on anything but the relationship. And you could be trying to convince this person to be with you or to get into a relationship with this person. Or you probably were into the relationship, but maybe you wanted something more. And this was someone who probably was someone who was running away from a label or a tag, okay? But right now, there's, there's healing going on, okay? This person wants to recover this connection. Probably this person has a reality check. This person could have been very confused in the past or they had someone had a lot of options or multiple choices. I'm getting someone who, had, who was very confused. They had too much on their plate or they just didn't know what to do or what was the best approach. They have clarity now and they're coming in and they want a reconciliation. At least, if not a reconciliation, they definitely want to recover and heal from this heartbreak but you're definitely still dealing with someone who wants the upper hand okay it's like they want to do it their way i'm getting someone might be of the highway kinds you know they see clearly but again still th their ways their approach is not correct what's the justice of reverse in the near future six of cups and reverse something's not going to be fair you're still going to be holding a grudge in the near future towards someone or someone's going to be having a grudge against you. This is clinging on to bad memories or clinging on to the past, not being able to move on. What's the Six of Cups in your hands? See, someone's not ready to learn their lessons. That's the biggest issue out here, you know. Someone wants to come in and rebuild with you because there was a tower moment between you guys, okay? Again, there was, a fall, there was a fallout in the past, right? This person wants to come and rebuild with you. But I'm getting things are not fair. You're still, things are not going to be fair with you or you're not going to feel that you're still getting what you deserve because you're dealing with someone who has either abandonment issues or someone who's not healed from a past connection. Someone was in a relationship where they could have opened up, they were vulnerable, and the other person screwed their own over. They haven't healed, they haven't forgiven, and now they're bringing all that excess baggage into this current relationship, and they're not learning their lessons, because of which every single time you try to give this a chance, right? Things just get stuck and stagnant, because they're not learning their lessons. And I guess neither are you. Could be both of you, could be one of you. That's why the situation is calling for something to be balanced, right? But there's a lack of balance here. Only because you're dealing with someone who's just 
not ready to forget what happened in the past, okay? They're holding on to those bitter memories. Someone's very scared of opening up or very scared to, um, to, to, to start a new cycle with you. You know, it's like you're almost there, very close to completing a cycle with this person, but, but the Six of Cups in reverse, right? This person keeps going back to their memories of the past. They keep thinking about what happened in the past, what went wrong in the past, because they haven't healed, right? That could be a lot of negative self-talk also. Every single time this person and you write, you guys are together, right? I feel this person talks themselves down, you know? Like, they know, like, okay, yeah, I'm in love with Aquarius. I want to move forward with Aquarius. And say, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. You know, like, you remember what happened last time, right? So they talk themselves down, you know? Like, they do this to themselves. That's why, you know, like 10 of cups, 2 of cups, 6 of cups. There's so much love here. But they're all in the reverse. Because I feel there's someone here who's almost there. But then they back out. What's the three of pentacles here? Why is this? You see yourself as wanting to work on this connection with the page of cups in reverse. But sadly, you're dealing with someone who's just not ready to open up emotionally. Someone who's suppressing their emotions. Maybe this person is seeing things... Um, too realistically like okay you know what like that's not possible that's just i just want to be more practical about it could be dealing with someone emotionally very mature immature all right see three of pentacles you want something solid something stable that's what you're looking for you're looking to build a future with this person but you're dealing with someone who's just not ready to open up this could be someone who's a little bratty egoistic but i'm not getting that so much here i'm getting someone who's like you know, they want to open up, they want to be there for you, but when it literally comes to talking about it or something, they shy away. See, Six of Swords in reverse. This person keeps repeating a negative pattern, you know, over and over again. Either this person keeps going back to their ex, or then, you know, they just keep going back to doing what they always did, which is screwing the relationship up. Six of Cups in reverse. That's why the world in reverse. That's why things just keep getting stuck. You repeat a negative pattern over and over again. What's the page of cups in reverse? Why is this not? You're literally like on the verge of moving on or moving forward. Because you're releasing this um, toxic person, the devil in reverse. You're, you're ready to let this person go. See, you're giving up with the strength in reverse here. You're tired of dealing with this situation over and over and over again. It's like, how much longer can I hold on to you? Or how much longer can I wait for you? How much longer can I convince you that we're good? We're okay together. You want to work on this partnership, right? But if this person's just not going to open up or make that move forward, you, the only option you have is to move on with the five of cups in reverse. Like, like bygones be bygones and move forward. What's the devil here coming into Aquarius' environment that they don't see coming? Who's the devil? What's this devil? Who's the devil here? Why the devil here? See, someone's losing patience in your environment here. This is an imbalance. This is someone who's literally like, I don't know what I want, you know. Absolute uh, chaotic energy. Very chaotic impatient, not being able to have uh, faith in divine timing. See, hangman in reverse, you're dealing with someone who's had a very one-sided perspective. This person only thinks from their point of view. They don't think from your point of view, which keeps the entire thing very stuck, stagnant. I'm almost getting like, you know, like this person's dug their heels into the sand and they're just not ready to look at things from a different view. Or it could also be that you're ready to release the situation because it's been stuck for a very long time. What's the temperance in reverse? This person feels stuck, tied, and bound to you, okay? They can't let go of this connection. What's the temperance in reverse? But it's becoming toxic. What's the temperance in reverse? What's the temperance in reverse? moon in reverse this person is suppressing their emotions yeah, see higher offended reverse i told you you're dealing with someone who's non-committal this person is very scared of commitment 
that's why you feel things are not fair because you could have given a lot to this person but this person is just not ready to let go of control they want to heal the connection they're clear about what they want but yeah again it's the same old same old you know and you're fed up of it you're tired the moon in reverse is also someone you know who is um who has security issues again it's all reflecting to what their experience the moon is usually the card of stress fear anxiety right but look the temperance in reverse and the moon in reverse this entire thing in your environment it's so bloody toxic You know, every single time you try to walk away from this person, right? This person just loses their shit. They go batshit crazy and they just want to come back to you. But when they come back to you, they bring in this moon kind of energy, you know? This moon in reverse, it's like, you know, like, I can't even, uh, I can't come in, I can't walk away. I'm coming back. But I'm still going to suppress my emotions. I'm still going to keep my emotions shut down. This is repressing, suppressing your emotions, not trusting your intuition. And the moon is also a card of like, there is nothing to fear outside, right? It is the card of fear, stress, anxiety. But whatever the stress, anxiety and the fear is, it's all because of their past experiences. It has nothing to do with the situation that is happening with them right now. I mean, I'm literally saying it has nothing to do with you, is what I'd say. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? You're so emotionally unfulfilled. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? Death in reverse, see? And you two are refusing to let go of this connection. It's not making you happy, but with then the reverse here, you can't let it go. You're stuck on it too. I can't blame this person only. I can't blame them. You're resisting an ending to something that's already done and over with, or you're resisting a huge change and transformation. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're not even working on it, or there's just someone who's not even working on this connection. What's the death in reverse? That's not ending a negative pattern also. Something needs to change. There is a huge need for a transformation. But you're resisting it, right? Page of Pentacles in reverse. You're dealing with someone who's procrastinating. Or you're procrastinating. Could be that you're procrastinating. This is lack of commitment, lack of communication, lack of offering something stable it's like you know what literally Aquarius I get that you know the entire story you know it all but you just can't help it they can't help it you're both in this together you both just can't let go they can't let go of their past memories the bitter ones that they had you can't let go of this person you're resisting that um, ending what's the ace of wands so there is this new beginning here, right? But with the Eight of Wands here, I feel that there's... Things are going to be a little slow. Things are going to be a little slow. Not going to be as fast as you think it would be. What's the Eight of Wands in reverse? What's the Eight of Wands in reverse? one card for the eight of wands in reverse <laughs> eight of swords see that's what i'm saying this emperor in reverse this is the biggest person out here who this is someone who's like no it's got to be my way or the highway you know this person is very irresponsible i'm getting probably someone who lacks structure lacks discipline they think they can just waltz back into your life every single time they screw up and it's making you emotionally very very unhappy you know i feel you can let this person in and every single you let this person in, it, it, it's just like a disappointing situation you know it's been disappointing over and over and over again but then i won't even be able to blame only them right because you're the death in reverse too with the Six of Cups in reverse and the Devil out here, right? That's your environment with the Devil here. This person loses their patience every single time you let them go and they want to rush back in with that toxicity. 
and they don't and they refuse to open up also you on the other hand you're also not letting them go you're not even investing but you're not even letting them go you're procrastinating constantly so see it's not it, it is both of you it's the both of you you both need to learn your lessons that's why i said that the world you're one of you or both of you are not learning your lessons that's why it's in the reverse here you're very close to completing your goal very close to completing your cycle but it won't finish because there is this i'm, I'm getting like a circle you know this person comes in they do the same shit again you don't learn your lessons they don't learn their lessons this it, it, there's this stuck and stagnant energy you guys probably abruptly cut off each other or things just stop again they come around because they lose their patience it's i mean and they're still emotionally unavailable and you still want to work on this connection so you know this death card till this death is not going to be upright where you are literally like ending something old shedding the old in order for in order for something new to come in you're going to be in your comfort zone okay i think you're holding on to this person you may consciously want to go away you may consciously want to move on but i don't think you're doing that i don't think you're doing that you're procrastinating you're still wanting to put in the effort you know but it's like you know it's literally like you know like it'll get better it'll get better but when it gets better i'll do this i'll do that you know but the thing is that it's not going to get better till you don't let this pattern die you're resisting an irresistible ending okay inevitable ending is what i'd say actually you know something needs to let go something needs to give something needs to die so that there can be a rebirth right the death is endings but it is also new beginnings it's the card of rebirth but how can you expect something brand new how can you expect a transformation if you're not going to do it too that's a twin flame connection they're going to reflect on you they're going to mirror you if you're not going to end your patterns they're not going to end their patterns and that's why this entire cycle keeps repeating itself you know it's like you're in a limbo you probably want to even blame them see every time you have like this new beginning here again the things are going to go slow or things are going to come to a halt only because someone again is going to behave the same way the approach is still the same i don't know how many people this is going to resonate with but that's what i'm that's what i'm getting aquarius you both need to learn your lessons and this is what happens in the twin flame connection you learn your lessons they automatically learn their lessons you stop a negative pattern they stop a negative pattern you continue a negative pattern because it's going to push you out of your comfort zone in order for you to make that change they're going to do the same thing you both mirroring each other almost okay at least in your thoughts you're afraid to make a change they're afraid to let go of uh the bad memories which is again a big change that they need to make okay so yeah that wish fulfillment with the nine of cups the ace of wands it's coming in yes it is but again like i said a transformation is needed and you're both resisting it it's going to make you happy when this person comes in right but what's the point of a clean slate if you're going to repeat the same if you're going to make the same drawing again on it right what's the, what's the point so that's what i have for you friends i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below and i'll see you next time bye bye